Foundation. It is a philanthropic endeavor to bring a grant opportunity to all public school educators in New Jersey. And you can get up to $10,000 for a great project in your classroom that you've been thinking of that you want to bring to your students. Let's go. I'll show you how to do an online application now. First, we want to go to a browser, preferably the Google Chrome browser, and you're going to start at the njea.org website. Now, once you're here, you're going to go under Grants and Hover, and you see Hip Foundation. Click. The Hip Foundation page loads. Scroll until you see Apply for a Grant and you're going to click Apply. This is going to take you to another web page. Now this is the web page where you're going to actually create your account. You are not going to log in yet. You have to enter your particulars. Most important is your email address. Please understand that most school districts block njea.org emails and that is only because school security is usually set very high. Therefore, we would prefer that you use a personal email address. And then go ahead and fill out all of the other pieces of information. Anything with a red asterisk right here, that means it's a required field. If you don't fill that field out, you'll be redirected back when you try to save. And here, you're going to answer whether this is a public school district or not. If you're not in a public school district, you're not going to be able to apply for a HIP grant. This is only available to public school employees in New Jersey. The next piece of information is your PIN number. And this is going to be found on your NJEA identification card. It's two letters, two numbers, two letters. The next will be your home address. As you see, it's another red asterisk area, so it's required. And you're going to be in New Jersey, of course. So you're just going to scroll until you find New Jersey. Zip code. And you're going to create a password here. And it can be any combination of characters. And then once you've entered all of your information, you're going to go ahead and register. You'll see you have a success bar that came up, and that's a good thing. Now the web page is loading. Now as you can see, it's welcoming me here. Mary Franz, we're on the home page. If you see under my applications, we already have one in progress. The act of registering for an account automatically starts an application for you. If you're not ready, you can just log out and log back in at another time. If you're ready, you're going to go ahead and start filling out the application. Again here, wherever you see a red asterisk, that's required information. If you try to submit this application at the end and any of those pieces of information are missing, you'll be redirected back to fill in those pieces. If your project won a HIP grant last year, you are eligible to apply for one additional year of funding. If that's what you're doing now, be sure to select Continuation Grant. If you're applying for funding for a new idea, please select Initial Grant Request. We'll probably be applying for an initial grant request. So you give your project a title. If you notice here, the character count goes up to 60. So we have all the information that was filled in when you registered will be repeated here. So a lot of these fields will already be filled in. As you can see, a lot of them are. But there are pieces that you're now going to have to enter. And as you go through this application, the information is pretty straightforward what it's requesting the county where your school is located. We're going to say we're in Mercer County. A lot of this information has drop down arrows to make it easier. If you can agree to all of these particulars, you'll want to check the boxes off. That's also another piece of required information. If you have additional project team members, you should enter their names here. And we're going to request their full name, their NJEA PIN number if they are a member, and whatever position they hold in the district. And then just do it in list form. And if you do have additional project team members, you want to put in this field whatever their responsibilities will be in regards to the project. 
We're requesting a photo now. You can turn this in later, but it's easier to get it out of the way in advance if you want to. And it's just going to be a picture of you with your team. It could be a picture of you with your project in progress. It's going to be used for promotional purposes whenever we send out news releases, whenever your school might send out news releases along that line. Then we go down to your local president, their name, the name of your local association. Please don't use an acronym here. Spell it out, Manor Park Education Association and so forth. As you see, it's easy information we're requesting here. Your superintendent's name, the school district, that information carried over from your registration. So a lot of this will automatically be filled in. You won't have to worry about that. Now as you go through, you'll see the cover sheet is the longest piece of information requested. There's a cover sheet, a section one, two, all the way up to six. You can go through this application by clicking through what we call breadcrumbs and fill in your answers this way. At the bottom of each page is a save and a previous. Here on the budget page, and when you're completely finished with your application, you save and finalize. And when you do that, a confirmation page comes up. It will have a few more steps that you're going to need to do. As you can see, that auto saved for me after a few minutes. When we try to save and finalize here, obviously there were a lot of pieces of information that were missing and it'll take you back through to enter all of the missing pieces of information. Everything highlighted in red. So if you're not ready to finish this application, you can simply save it now. Success, you're good. You can close and then later when you want to work on your application, you open your browser. You can go back to the njea.org website. After you've logged back into the NJEA website and you've clicked on Apply, it will take you to the HIP Foundation page. This is where you're going to log back in using the credentials that you used when you registered. We're logged back in. You see you have one application in progress. And this is the list of any application that you have that you've started. You can remove it if you want to start another application, if you want to scrap this totally, or you can edit this one, or you can print it out. You can go back to edit, but let's say we want to print it out because we want to share this with our colleagues for them to read through it to see if there's anything we've missed. By clicking on print, you're downloading a PDF of your application. Now that you have this PDF, you can download it to your computer and save it for future reference. You can print it, and this is where you can print and show it to your colleagues. You can scroll through it to see what pieces of information that you still need to gather. You've printed out your application. You've shown it to your colleagues. They think it's great. So you're going to open your Chrome browser, go back to the NJEA website, HIP Foundation, Click on Apply to take you to the HIP page. And once you get to this HIP page, you can bookmark this page to get back to it easier. So you're logging back in. And as you can see, you have one in progress. That's what you want to click on. That's the application you've been working on. You're going to go back in and edit it. Now you've already had it reviewed with your project team. So now you're going to use this breadcrumb trail. Just click through the application and make sure you're satisfied with all of your answers. Just one last look over everything. And finally on the budget page, section six, you're going to save and finalize here. Once you press this button, you'll get a prompt that says, Basically, are you sure? Once you do this, you won't be able to go back and edit this application. You're sure? Okay. Information was sent. It was successful. You have some more work to do. Now you're going to go back to your application page, as instructed here. You're going to download and print a copy of the application, and you need to get three important signatures. One is going to be you as the project coordinator. 
and the other two are the local association president and the district superintendent. Once they sign those pages of the application, you need to mail those into the foundation and the date needs to be postmarked no later than March 1. Any year that Sunday is March 1, we move the deadline to Monday, March 2nd. And once you have those pages signed, mail them here to the HIP Foundation, PO Box 1211, Trenton, 08607. That will come to me. Once I receive those signed pages and everything is in order, you'll then receive an email acknowledging receipt of the application. Then you'll be put forward to be reviewed. By mid-May, you'll receive an email letting you know whether or not your project was funded. And then we go from there. And that's about all there is to filling out an application for the HIP Foundation. The NJEA is very happy to provide this opportunity for a grant for educators in New Jersey. These grants range from $500 to $10,000. They can make a real difference in your school with your students and we are so happy to be able to help you and foster this application process with you in any way possible. So that concludes applying for a HIP grant online. I hope you have found this to be informative and if you have any questions, reach me through the HIP Foundation at HIP, that's H-I-P-P, -P, at njea.org. I'd be so happy to help you. I will answer all of your questions. I'm so excited to be working with you for another grant cycle. Please contact me with any of your questions. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.